It's a typical Wednesday afternoon at the Nisei Veterans Hall Gym. It's the Senior Dance Hour, where dancers like 94-year-old Jean Moy come to cha-cha, waltz, and foxtrot. And he hasn't missed a dance in years. Louise Cascino helps run the dances, which have been around for decades. Yes, we've been having a senior dancing for like 30, 40 years. Her connection to the hall is one that runs deep with Seattle and American history. I was 16 when I went in. Mm -hmm. Louise was just a teenager when she and her family were forced to evacuate their homes and give up their livelihoods in the months following the attack on Pearl Harbor on December 7, 1941. She was relocated to the internment camp in Minidoka, Idaho. And that's where she met her future husband and dance partner, Shiro Kosh Kashino. We learned to dance and, and camp together. Yeah. Shiro was one of the Nisei, or second generation men, who volunteered to fight in the war despite having been stripped of their rights as American citizens. They were the soldiers of the 442nd Regimental Combat Team, an all Japanese American segregated unit. They fought primarily in Europe and were the most highly decorated regiment in the history of the U.S. Armed Forces for their size and term of service. And that includes 21 Medal of Honor recipients. A father receives the Distinguished Service Cross. His son was killed in Italy, where he and thousands of other Japanese Americans, including the son of this woman, have produced one of the most remarkable combat records of the war. Shiro himself was the recipient of the Silver Star, the Bronze Star, and six Purple Hearts. The way ahead. Where does it lead? That's what this young couple is wondering. Upon the end of World War II, the Japanese-American community was not always welcomed back with open arms. We came back kind of gingerly. We didn't know what the public reaction would be. But uh, especially for my husband. For him, he kind of being a soldier and uh, facing discrimination, it was uh, a little bit daunting because they had come off the front lines in uh, Europe and then to be faced with discrimination again. They were not allowed to join the American Legion. Or they were not allowed to join the VFW. Um, and even though their record was exemplary, so, you know, they, they, they formed their own veterans group, and that's what we have today. The hall is a community gathering place, an historical monument to the legacy of the Nisei veterans. In 2008, the hall opened their Medal of Honor room, full of artifacts and information. And more recently, they completed the Japanese American Memorial Wall, which commemorates those who served in the military and families that were imprisoned as internees. And the hall continues to have its weekly senior dance, where folks come for fun, exercise, and socializing. But even though Louise shows no signs of slowing down, attendance at the senior dance hour has been shrinking. So people have stepped up. Louise's daughter, Bev Cascino, was given an idea to branch out dancing to the next generation. There's a cute little man, uh, Katashi Oita, and he oversaw the senior dancing. Before he passed away, he said, Dev, really want to do something multi-generational. Wouldn't it be cool if we had all the generations dancing, learning to dance, and socialize together? Keith Yamaguchi is our outgoing commander, and he wanted to start up a dance. This was really a social hub for the Nisei veterans that returned from World War II. And this was really a place that they could gather socially, and they included the families in on that. And that's what I remember as a kid. Uh, we used to do a lot of things, like bazaars and the Christmas party. We used to have picnics and stuff like that. So it was a, it was a huge, huge center of my social life when I grew up as a kid. And that was what we were hoping to do when we got back to this, uh, especially with the dance. Just kind of bring that back. Uh, uh, kind of reach out for, for a lot of the third generation, fourth generation uh, that never experienced that. Bev and Keith set up Friday night social dances with hopes that younger crowds would also come. With dance lessons kicking off the evening, 
Okay, folks, it's time to spice it up for a little salsa. And the live band. The dances have been a hit, and whether they know it or not, people learning to quick step are making a historical link and having a conversation across time. Back in the camps, in the internment camps, music and dance was a big, big way of passing the time. A lot of the camps had their own bands, their own swing bands. And when you have band music, you also have dances. And that the dances were a big, big part of the camp life. You don't have to be a veteran. You don't have to be a um, child of a veteran. We really want to welcome people to show them what the hall is. And, and we're hoping that it becomes something that the community can relate to and say, hey, I wonder what's happening this weekend if they're having a dance. And the Nisei Veterans Hall will celebrate the people and dances of the past to continue moving into the future.